Hello my friends, welcome back to Keto in the Chaos. My name is Tammy and on this channel I like to share all of my tips and tricks on how I originally lost over 200 pounds with diet alone and how now I am dealing with long-term maintenance, weight regain, and menopause amongst other exciting topics. So if that sounds like what you're looking for, don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring the bell for more videos like this one to inspire you to get started. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I am so glad that you stopped to check in on me on my week seven and eight of my summer keto weight loss cut. As you can tell, it has been a minute since I've gotten a video on the channel. It has been a real struggle. It just always is a real struggle. I cannot seem to find a place where recording and editing videos fits into my insane life. Back in the day when I first started the channel and I had the dopamine going and I just kind of got into a thing where I could edit videos at nine o'clock every night until about midnight and for some reason at nine o'clock at night anymore, I just don't want to have anything to do with the computer. I will just lay there over there on my bed and I will just stare at it and I'll think about how I need to do it and I'll have anxiety in my stomach and I just don't get it done. And I'm just being honest, it's just a real struggle. It is a real struggle to make myself accomplish some of the things I need to do in this life. And for some reason, videos is on the list of things that is difficult to accomplish at the current moment. Also, I don't deal very well with transition periods. And this summer has been a series of transitions in my life. And I think that's a lot to do with it. I just feel really overwhelmed. And so I just get that wall and I just shut down. As of the filming of this video, I have not even edited the video from week six. And I am really sorry about that because I'm, I really was motivated to keep going and I am going. So I have not quit doing what I am doing, but I just can't seem to get the videos edited again. And that's what happened last time. It's what happened the time before. It's extremely frustrating. It is literally three days after I was supposed to film this video that I am making myself finally get that done. Last we talked, my son was in Macedonia, Northern Macedonia on a tour and was coming home. Um, I think it's in this video that he actually came home. We got to see him for five whole days and actually of those five whole days, I think I actually only got to see him for a few hours. While he was here, he finished submitting his papers for his um, mission for our church. So he should be getting his call soon to find out where he's going to be going for two years. And then he flew right back to Europe and has been on a France tour for the last week and a half. So some of that footage will be in this video. I'm not even sure what at this point because uh, it'll be a miracle if I ever had this video edited, but I'm praying that really hard that I can get myself together. This is a really tough transition, having my son out of the country and coming back and forth and trying to keep up with him what he is doing. Also, in the last two weeks, my, my two younger girls performed in a production of Newsies, which took up a lot of my effort and time. Um, and that was part of that, you know, thing, that transition time again. And then my eight year old, we got him signed up for a micro school and that started last week. And so I had to like put that into my schedule. Now this week, which technically will be next week because it happened during the next, my, I'm confused. My 14 year old went back to school and next week my 16 year old goes, 16 year old goes back to school. And then it's just me and my 11 year old at home. Still trying to work out what to do with her. We all got funded for a scholarship and I've been trying to figure out how that works and like getting all of that figured out. It's just, it's been a lot. And I mean, I'm sure I could think of a million more things, but I can't think of them off the top of my head of why I just am in a big flux. Once school gets started and whatever, we'll get back into routine, but finding a place where this fits in my routine when I'm homeschooling is really tough. I just am not able to do it at night anymore. I was doing it during the day and now I don't know what I'm gonna do. <sighs> Deep breath. I'm gonna keep working on it though because I don't want to stop making the videos. I really don't. I like doing it, I do. <laughs> I know I'm looking off all in different directions because I'm, it's like I'm not telling you the truth. I do really like doing this, I promise. <laughs> Things are going okay, I promise. So I'm not gonna keep talking your ears off since I don't even know where we 
are in this world at this point. I am just lost. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave this intro here and put in as much footage as I can find and then I'm gonna come back and talk to you about the results. the door any minute. Just calm yourself down. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. He cried last time. Yeah, he cried last time and it wasn't even that long. 
I might cry. <laughs> You're gonna cry? I might. I might. Yeah. Hmm, we'll see. Probably the first time Ruby's I've Ruby's been crying ever... all day. <laughs> yeah. I see Ezekiel. Oh, I see Ezekiel. Isn't that Ezekiel? Isn't that That's him. There's Finn. He's in the middle. Where? He's in the middle. He's the tallest. He's in the tallest. I see him. He's, he's head, head above everybody else. Yeah, he's the tallest. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> Are you crying? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh Ruby, you're so cute. You're next. <laughs> Alright, Ruby, give someone else a turn. <laughs> She couldn't get a ticket? She's just a friend, huh? She didn't look like she felt like it was just a friend. Yeah, we all know the real truth, man. She felt, yeah, felt a little bit of love with you right there. Yep, just a little bit. <laughs> Okay, I decided to break it up into two week sections. So I'm gonna come back and talk right now about week seven. Um, I'm sure you can guess the reason why I didn't feel like making a video last week or that week, I guess it's not really even last week anymore, but that week was because I literally just had a, I was on the struggle bus. The scale and I were not friends in week seven and my measurements, I just looked puffy. I didn't take a video of, I didn't do the 360. I just didn't feel like doing a video. And I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm too busy right now. I am just gonna make it into a two week video. And at that point I decided I wasn't going to make a video because I just couldn't bear to make a video where it looked like I was backsliding. Because I know that the reason this was happening was number one, because it was the week leading up to my ovulation. I do it every time. I've done it for an eternity. Those who've been around for all the years I've been on this channel will know that I often put on six or seven pounds leading up to ovulation. Even before I had my skin removal surgery and I struggled with the lymphedema and lipedema parts, I still had lymphatic issues leading up until my ovulatory period. I ovulated basically at the end of this week. And so those weigh-ins just got bigger and bigger and bigger. Also, hip was newsies every single day. Not to mention that my girls also had dance intensives. We had clogging team intensives the first part of the week and we had jazz, lyrical, I don't even know what you call them, just dance intensives the second part of the week in addition to multiple dress rehearsals and then performances of Newsies. It was an insane week. I told my 11 year old daughter, if you survive this week, you'll know if you can hack it in the dance team world. She is gonna try a dance team this year for the first time ever and I am proud of her for trying because I know she struggles with a lot of things and she's we're both on the struggle bus most of the time and so I just was really impressed with how well she dealt with it and I dealt with it in the only way I could which was e-food. <laughs> also, we were just going from thing to thing so I was often eating keto snacks and fast food. That's just the long and short of it. It was just a rough week all around. So let's go over 
The weigh-ins, we had dress rehearsals for Newsies the first day, 226.2. Dress rehearsal again, 225.5. First performance, and it was also the day my son came back from Macedonia, 225.5. The next day, we had a Newsies performance, 227.7. Then the next day, we had two Newsies performances in one day with like an hour break between. I had to eat whatever I could eat. There, we were, it was out of school. Like, I, I didn't even have time to like leave and go get anything. I had to have Dave bring me something. I'm sure I ate wings. I don't remember because I didn't record my food. There's reasons I'm not recording my food. These are part of them because I just really can't stand to listen to people complain about what I choose to eat when my life is insane. You try doing what I do and keep it all together and be perfect and eat car carnivore and cook yourself food. I like to see you do it. And if you can do that, you should come here and be my personal chef because I cannot. <laughs> anyway, 227.7. The next day, which was Sunday, rest day, 228.4. And then the last Newsies day was 227.1. For an average of 226.8, which was up 0.8 pounds from last week, which or that last week, which was 0.1 up. So basically, I, at that point, after seven weeks, was only down a basically six pounds in seven weeks. So it felt like backsliding. I didn't want to talk about it. It was a long week, it was overwhelming. I just wanted to enjoy it. My girls, I just wanted to enjoy my son being home and I didn't want to think about it too hard. So that's what I that's what I did. Uh, calories weren't the worst, let's be honest. Um, they were kind of all over the place, as were carbs. I definitely remember being in ketosis part of the week and part not, and that's just how it's been kind of going for me lately. Um, so calories, 1549, 2091, 1525, 1708, 2050, 2094, 1589. For an average of 1801, which was only up 107 average per day from last week. So 1801 average is good. It's not bad. So I can't complain about that too much. My protein was up. My protein was up because I was literally living on the legendary food. Um, what do you call those? The, the bakery bars. I don't know. They're like pop tarts and built bars and uh, protein chips, you name it. Like I was eating all of the keto snacks. So my protein was up. 203 was my average, which is way higher than I need to hit for my 10% goal of 180. So that was great. My carbs were not horrible, actually. I had one day of high carbs, which made the average be 38 for the week, which is right in line of what I've been doing this whole time. 30 is my ideal. I really like to get under 30, but you know what? I'm proud and happy that I made it through that week with an average of 38. So my fats were 75, which is actually good for weight loss. So the scale really didn't make any sense. And the swelling was caused by so many different things. Ovulation combined with a lot of keto snacks, combined with a lot of walking, doing, being, a lot of sitting in chairs that aren't comfortable, not, not being able to put my feet up and let that lymphatic system go, not being able to get into the pool, though I did get on the vibration plate at least twice. And like, I just couldn't do all of my things that I need to do in order to make things move. And that's how a lot of my life is. And that's why it's so frustrating. You know, I feel like, I don't know, like I have to prove something to you guys or something, but I really don't. Like, I'm just living my life. I'm living my best life right now. Like someday this, all this stuff and this excitement and fun is gonna be over. And then, and then what? I hear screaming, lots of screaming. So it was a pretty good week. I don't know why I didn't make a video. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't fit it into my life. And so, Week seven is what it is. Oh, I didn't even measure myself, so I have no idea if there's changes. And now we move on to week eight. Alrighty guys, it's the day. He's leaving again on a jet plane. Running back. I can't even stand it. And his mission papers are officially in as of this morning. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm feeling all kinds of, I'm feeling a type of way. Is that what people say? You know, when you don't feel that great about things? I'm feeling off. I'm feeling sad. Oh, God. It's, so, it's okay. <laughs> He's gonna have a blast, but we're taking him to the airport. Saying goodbye. Again. Again.
just got home from registering um, one of my kids for high school and I had this huge package on my front step and it looks like it's from my friend Sherlyn, who is a longtime subscriber and she sent me a little gifty and I thought, well, I'm gonna open it. Now, the box has been through, been through it and it is like coming open on the bottom and some of it looks like it might have got a little dirty but I think we're just gonna go for it anyway. It might be some clothes, which is awesome. Cause you know, I am low on clothes to the point where I literally am wearing a swimsuit cover up over stuff. So cause of to hide, you know, you can see it, but it's still there. Cute. It's adorable. Oh, this one, oh, it's a dress. I'm going to look awesome. That's going to look really awesome with my leggings. This is an old Navy shirt. I'm not much of a black wearing person, but I will try it. And if I don't use it, I will pass it to one of my girls. That one over there, who's kind of emo and she wears black all the time. <laughs> She's, that's the one that's going to high school. <laughs> There's a pink one. So cute, look at this. <gasps> this is beautiful. This is so adorable. Cute, I like this. Ooh, leggings. Cute flower print. Ooh, it's like a little jacket. That's cute. Oh, if that'll fit my arms, I'll be happy. We will see. It might it might be iffy. Sadly, no luck. They are too, it's too tight on the arms. But I know that my daughter will wear this. It's just too bad. This is my struggle. Daily struggle. Every day. Too tight on my dang arms. And let's see. Is this another cover-up? Nice. Very cute. Look at the crochet on that. That's adorable. And this is a skirt. Oh, that's adorable. How adorable is that? I will so wear that. I don't know, you guys can't see, but it's like a high-low skirt. That is really cute. That would look really cute with the top I have on. Yes, it would. Nice. Let's see what she says. Dear Tamara, after watching your last few vlogs and what you think is lack of progress, it made me th rethink my goals. It seems being a mother to three children, ten and a half grandchildren, and a wife has paled in comparison to be of a certain weight. This mindset of getting back down to my lowest adult weight is quite honestly ridiculous. I love that. You might need to be reminded that you have accomplished more than most. You have given birth to eight healthy children, raised nine, and are a loving wife. You lost more weight than many people weigh. You have a good career in photography and motivate thousands with your YouTube channel. You are a beautiful woman and seem to be a woman of faith. At your young age, have so much more life to live. Oh, thanks for calling me young. <laughs> I am sending you some items I thought might work for you. Feel free to donate anything that doesn't suit you. I'm not trying. I'm, I'm not only trying to accept me as I am, but also downsize. As to too much stuff makes my brain hurt. I feel for you, girl. I do. But thank you. I am going to cherish these. The ones that I try on and fit me, I will definitely give. And, and the ones that will work for my girls, we will use. And everything else, I am sure I can find a loving home for. I appreciate you taking the time to think about me and send me this stuff. And I wish you well in your journey. I think you're totally right. We just need to accept ourselves for who we are and be happy and proud of our accomplishments. Thank you so much for reminding me of that today. Um, I needed to hear that. This is a two week long video because I was struggling last week and those just, these words are gonna mean a lot to me in my life this week, so I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Sherlyn. Love you guys and all of you who think about me outside of the YouTube space. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you. Look how cute this little dress looks, um, Sherlyn. I love it.
So here we go with week eight. Um, a little bit better on the scale, a little bit more chill on my life and what happened and what went on. Um, that very first day of the week, my son left to go back to France, which was emotionally overwhelming, but not necessarily like taking up half my life like the play did. Um, it was back to regular dance schedule for summer and we did go to my husband's work party and all that they had to eat there was like cafe Rio with like beans and rice and stuff and you had to just make guesstimates on what you were eating and I just did not feel like um, having only just me on lettuce and with cheese. Plus we were going to a movie as a family and so I decided that I wanted to have popcorn and I'm like if I'm gonna have popcorn I may as well do the whole thing so I made guesses on how much of I ate of each of those carby things but I did track as best I could that day and then on Saturday of that week we actually had a big huge long day where we walked in a parade um, at the very beginning of the week I think that was footage must have that footage was probably in there already so yeah you we walked in the parade and then we went to the park we were in the blazing heat it was like the weirdest weather it went from like hot to raining to hot to complete and utter windstorm where since we had just seen the movie twisters earlier in the week my 11 year old thought she was being killed and there was like a, it blew a big i don't even know if i put that in there but it blew this big like huge um 10 by 20 tent thing that hadn't been staked down into a vehicle and a javelin through the window and my girls had to go save it and it was like torrential downpour and everybody's crying it was quite the drama and then all of a sudden it just came back blazing hot it was the weirdest weather um and we were out the entire day so like from 9 a.m until we got home at like 10 30 i went home really quickly for like less than 20 minutes to grab a couple built bars and some uh, sodium because i was dying and also to get my girls team placements for the year which were very exciting my um 14 year old made the elite team and she really didn't think she was going to make it so that was exciting and my 11 year old got her placement and she was this is her first time so that was really a lot that was a lot emotionally and we ate at food trucks i was able to get wings but they had a sugary sauce and then I ate some candy from I ate candy in the parade and then I got candy from the snack thing I ate a lot of candy and then when I was tracking the candy later I was like oh my gosh candy is high in calories what the heck no wonder it was so easy for me to gain weight before if I eat like a couple boxes of candy that's like a whole day's worth of food Whoa! that was hard to swallow it wasn't hard to swallow but it was hard to accept later if you know what I'm saying <laughs> so I was like in ketosis I 
ketosis, in ketosis, out of ketosis. It was like this all week. Oh my gosh, my poor body. But we survived. And you know, like I said, that's a calm week for me. <laughs> so you can only imagine like what my regular day-to-day -day life entails. It's like a lot. And I love that it's a lot but it also is like really complicated and I don't like to like pre-plan very well and I used to be way better at pre-planning the day and like following that through. I'm not good on leftovers so I don't like to meal plan. I bet I try, I've been trying. It's it's a trying thing like I, 1% better, right? I can't even with most of the time like I can just like give me some built bars. Like I could literally live on built bars. In fact, I've often thought you know, what if I did like a built bar challenge and ate like 10, if I could afford to eat like 10 built bars in a day and ate only built bars for a week just to see what would happen. That would be awesome. The carbs would be about 40. So it definitely would be a little high for ketosis, but I'm just so curious what would happen. But I've never had enough money to like do a built bar challenge. One of these days, maybe I will, but it's okay. <sighs> Keto snacks are expensive guys. They are not cheap. That sucks, because I know if I would just buy bacon and eggs. Well, my chickens lay eggs, but I've been selling the eggs to pay for the keto snacks. <laughs> hey, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I already know it. I don't, I don't need you to tell me. Regardless, let's go over the data. Let's get this done. So, my weigh-ins. The day my son left for France, 227.1, then 224. Then 223.1, and why is that? I ovulated the day before we started weigh-ins for this week. My uh, my weight was still at the ovulatory weigh-in at 227, and then it just started dropping because when I hit that day, the next day, it just starts to down every time. It's the wildest thing. So then 225.1, then the day I walked in the parade, 223.5. So the day after that, it was up quite a bit because I ate a lot of carbs and I did a lot of walking and I was in the heat and it's literally a miracle. It wasn't worse than it was. 225.3. And then after my rest day, 224. For an average of 224.5, which is down 2.2 pounds from last week. And is the lowest weight I have seen since week. Oh, it's the lowest weight I've seen the whole time. A new low weight for the summer cut. <laughs> Hallelujah. But it's still only not down about eight and a half, nine pounds from the whole thing in eight weeks. So kind of a bummer that it's not better than that, but you know what? It's moving in the right direction and I will take it. This next week, we'll see what happens as I move towards my actual cycle. That doesn't seem to affect my weight in anything but good. So cross my fingers for that. Calories wise, it was not horrible, I suppose. Um, 1887, 1687. Ironically, 1388 was the movie day, but that was because I hardly ate anything that day. And the movie was very abysmally low in calories and really high in carbs. Um, then the next day, 1627, then 1760, and then the big parade slash concert slash being at the park all day day. That was 2430, um, and then 1648. For an average of 1775, which is actually down 26 average per day from last week. So it could be worse. Wasn't too bad at all. I'm kind of proud of myself. My proteins, though, was down a little bit. It was only 160, and that was because of the couple of days that were really low. I had mostly high days, but then the movie day, I literally had, like, very little protein. Like, a couple ounces of meat on that salad, and that was it. Um, my protein that day was, like, 68, which is, like, low. And I didn't eat a lot of keto snacks that day either. Just popcorn and rice. <laughs> beans. Anyway, oh my goodness. Um, my carbs were up, obviously, because of those two higher carb days. It was 79 for average for the week, but I was in ketosis for most of the week. I could tell I was. I was like, my legs were getting all weak feeling, and I was really, really thirsty, and I just felt like I couldn't keep my sodium up. Um, a lot of the things that I just, when you're just kind of going in, but I couldn't quite stay in to get to the benefits of like the hunger benefits and stuff that I really need. My average fats for the week was 78, which is really good for fat loss. So over, over and above, it was a successful week, a new low weight, 
Um, I was down, my under bust, which hasn't shrunk at all the entire time, was down a half an inch. My waist was down another three quarters of an inch, so it's down to 36.25, which is nice. Um, I think the lowest I've ever gotten it post-surgery was like 33 or 34. 35 has been my average since I had the surgery and have the lymphedema issues. I was 27 before the surgery, so it's really, really sad to me to think about my waist being almost 10 up from there, but... It's okay. My hips, which is the part at the top of my hips, went down a whole inch, but my booty stayed the same, my thighs stayed the same, my um, left knee stayed the same, my right knee went down a half an inch, my left calf went down nothing, but my right calf went down a half an inch, which was weird, but yay right leg for cooperating, for a total of down 2.75 inches. So that's pretty great. I will take those results. I'm feeling optimistic that I'm gonna be able to keep going. Um, I am going to show the 360. It'll be from week eight. So week one compared to week eight. I have no idea what it looks like. I didn't really pay that much attention. I hope it looks better. <sighs> if it doesn't, oh well, I did it. That's all I just keep telling myself. You know what? I'm just doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing the thing, right? I can't expect too much of myself. And you guys, you know, we only can just do what we can do and we can't just sit and beat ourselves up. I've never been one to beat myself up about how I choose to live my life and how I choose to lose weight or gain weight or what I eat and anything because it's just really pointless. When you beat yourself up, you're just gonna make yourself more depressed and you're gonna likely eat more if you're depressed. And I'm not depressed at all. I just have all of my ADHD and anxiety from having the ADHD and not being able to accomplish things in the, coupled with my autism need to stim, which is chewing, chewing, chewing. And of course, I've still continued going to the chiropractor and he has been really helping my jaw. Um, we're very blessed to have a chiropractor where we do a lot of trade work with him. My husband fixes his cars and so when my insurance like burns through the visits, I'm able to still go see him and not pay um, because he does it tr for trade, which is really, really nice. So anyway, I don't know why I'm still talking four minutes later and I was trying to close the video. I'm sorry. I do love you guys and I miss you and I am going to, no, I'm not. I'm not going to promise that I'm going to be better because I have no idea, but I can say thank you for watching. Oh, and don't forget to thumbs up this video and I will hopefully see you all again soon.